My dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum. I would like to take this opportunity to remind myself and remind all of you about the importance of the day of Arafah. As we know that we are going through the 10 blessed days of Zul Hijjah, uh, and at the same time, we are witnessing a very difficult situation in Gaza, Sudan, and Kashmir, and other places where Muslims are suffering. So let's remember all the brothers and sisters in our du'as. With the day of Arafah, it, is, it has been mentioned that the Umar was walking through the streets of Medina when he was approached by a group of Jews. And the group of Jews said to Umar that you know that you have a verse in the Quran that if that verse would have revealed on us, we would have met, made that day a special day like a Eid for us. And Umar exactly knew what they were talking about. So he said, yes, I know the place and the time when this verse was revealed. And that was the day of the Arafah, where Allah SWT revealed the verse that today I have completed the deen for you. So there are a couple of things that we can do on the Yom, on the Yom Arafah. Uh, number one is that starting from the Fajr, we'll start the, you know, this Takbirat al Tashriq, which is Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. We should, you know, start that from the Fajr. Uh, it has been mentioned that the Sahaba Kram used to walk to the streets of Medina reciting you know, this Takbirat loudly to remind themselves and remind others about the blessings of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The second thing that we can do is that it has been mentioned in Ibn Bajah and other, other uh, books, uh, these books as well, that the Prophet Muhammad has said that, you know, Anbiya Kram before him used to recite these words in the 10 days of Zul Hijjah to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is la ilaha illallah wahda la sharika la lahul mulku wa lahul hamdu wa huwa la kulli shayin qadeer. And the third thing that we can do is that we can fast on the day of the Arafah. It has been mentioned uh, in the Ahadith that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that you know if we fast on the day of Arafah if, and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts it, our sins for the last one year and our sins for the next year will be forgiven. All we have to do is to fast for 15 hours and our sins will be forgiven. So inshallah, let's try to do these three, three things and remember our brothers and sisters in, in your special du'as, especially our brothers and sisters in Gaza, Sudan and Kashmir, and our Ikna brothers and sisters as well. Wa akhram ta'ana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.